Well, many students go to college for their degree, but now some students are staying in Tuscaloosa to open businesses far from home. CBS 42 News reporter Jack Royer is in Tuscaloosa tonight with the secret that city leaders say is helping those students stay. Nearly 40,000 students walk the University of Alabama campus every semester, but now school and city leaders are hoping some will stick around after graduation to become the next generation of Tuscaloosa business leaders. Many come for football. Now some are staying to run a business. We go into our pharmacy section that will be evolving. A business like Yugo Convenience Delivery, a simple concept several years in the making. We just kind of turn it into reality. Will Randall and Jane Newman are now putting their University of Alabama education to work. Literally. So, I mean, these businesses aren't going anywhere. So we're really trying to, you know, find our niche in what we want to do. You know, we want to be able to provide a, a quick service that's that's actually worth spending the money on. Yugo is an app platform that allows students to order everyday essentials with a tap of a phone screen. Started thanks to Tuscaloosa and The Edge, a business incubator through the Chamber of Commerce and the University of Alabama with a clear goal. Is to create an environment through job creation for a larger percentage of students at the University of Alabama to have the option to stay here. The Edge will be expanding later this year, hoping the millions of dollars students bring to the Druid City economy will only expand. And we're happy that Tuscaloosa has given us an opportunity and welcomed us in with open arms into the community with the chamber, with the Edge. We've found help every way and we couldn't be more grateful. The progress continues in Tuscaloosa. The Chamber of Commerce hopes to have the new and improved business incubator up and running in the fall. In Tuscaloosa, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.